The issue of mental health in college students is also prevalent among college athletes. Annenberg Media's Kelly Miller takes a look at why. Former Trojan diver and U.S. Olympian Haley Ichimatsu was officially diagnosed with depression and anxiety in 2010. From a very young age, I felt like I had a lot of expectations on me where I felt I had to be perfect all the time and I had to be the best at what I did. Ichimatsu started as an undergrad at Duke but transferred to USC after her freshman year, hoping for better mental health services. So the psychologist at USC, she really helped me. Uh, what she did was she gave me tools to recognize my what, what we called catastrophic thinking. Another former USC athlete and mental health advocate, Victoria Garrick, in a 2017 TED Talk, shared her experience dealing with anxiety. And I worried about my athletic performance constantly. On game days, I worried. What if I don't play well tonight? What if the coaches bench me? What if my passing sucks? What if I didn't study the scout enough? Sports psychologists say that kind of pressure is common among athletes. We really approach working with athletes from this holistic perspective. These are, these are people first. And too often, and especially at a place like USC, that these individuals get seen for their sport or for their athlete identity. And a lot of the work that we do is helping people realize there's far more to them than only who they are exclusively in their sport. USC sports psychologists are optimistic that mental health issues on campus will continue to become destigmatized as more students open up about their mental illnesses and seek help. For Annenberg Media, I'm Kelly Miller.